it happening. What's going on, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're going to do um, stock analysis on Workhorse. So we're going to see, because the stock has been making a ton of moves lately, we're going to see why that has been happening. Then we're going to see, uh, talk about if it's a buy, if it's a hold, or if it's a sell. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification bell, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you find a video useful so why is workhouse squeezing um, lately um, just so we understand um, news that came out is that um, no workhorse actually secured over 70 million dollars in financing so usually when you hear news like this for most companies that's exciting news it would drive the stock price um, up a lot so they got this from a single institutional investor which is good because you don't invest your money in a company if you don't see any value so um, and, and sometimes they invest the money because they want to drive the stock up and then um, you know sell and then take their profit so um, again and there's so many reasons why you can actually see uh, companies um, investing or institutional uh, investors going after companies like this. So, so now that we understand why this stock has been you know, gapping is just because of the fact that they got this $70 million in, in financing. So um, let's take a little bit uh, and I'll just go back and take a look at Workhorse as a company. What does this company do um, that you know makes sense in, in, in any shape or form? So they, what they do is the electric uh, delivery uh, vans as you can see here uh, and drones uh, and then they also have some other softwares that are in-house and stuff like that so their goal is to be the number one um, delivery vans or the drones in in the wall that's that's what they plan on doing so um, now that we get that in again electric seems to be electric cars or um, energy efficient cars is, is, is becoming the thing so we're seeing companies like Tesla Nikola Motors uh, Hylium um, all these are companies that are you know coming out and they are not going uh, towards a fossil fuel they're getting away from fossil fuel and a lot of people um, love that so you see that following so um, that is a little bit about uh, workhorse um, so um, let's see what analysts are saying. I do use a service called uh, Tip Rank for that. So usually just come in Tip Rank, put in there, take a symbol, and then it will tell you what analysts are suggesting. So um, right now we see that this suggests a strong buy for this particular stock. Um, but if you look at the, the the price target here, it's about um, high of about twelve dollars. But now let's go see where the stock was trading when I was doing this video. So Workhorse uh, Group was trading at uh, just about eighteen dollars. Um, today it has squeezed up to about close to about twenty dollars, nineteen ninety, from what I see there, and then pulled back now to eighteen dollars and fifteen cents or whatever. Um, so what do you think? Um, is is it a buy? Is it a, a you know a hole or is it a sell? Um, Again, with companies like this that um, haven't really made um, a ton of news, uh, for the most part, I always caution people when you when you go into a company like if you if you were one of the people that went in early, um, you bought this stock before it started um, squeezing. So again, let's go back here in Yahoo Finance. Um, so if you bought this stock early, let's look at let's say the yeah, one month. So see down here uh, in June, this stock was uh, at about two dollars and fifty cents. And then fast forward to the that is the first of June. Fast forward to today, which is the 30th, the stock has gone to a high of close to $20. So if you bought it down here and it squeezed all the way up here, again, my personal advice would be that you sell and take out your initial investment and only play with house money, right? So that if anything would go wrong, if you start with a pullback drastically, you would not feel the, the pain because you know that you took out your investment. And if possible, because if you bought this at $2 and it went up to say um, uh, $19, that is $17 profit. Unless you are a greedy savage, you should be able to take out enough and still be happy. 
Um, again, at that point, if the stock squeeze and goes to 30, 40, you'd probably be bidding yourself like, why did I sell some? But if it goes back to $2, then you'll be crying. So uh, if you have money in hand, it's better than you anticipating that, oh, I'm gonna get money uh, in the future. With stocks, I guess, again, with companies that are established that we know for sure are gonna be around and are strong, um, that are main street, I don't have an issue with that. But with up and coming companies that are just trying to make their name, unless you are doing something that is really changing, like Tesla came in and just changed the, the auto game uh, as far as going um, electric. So unless you're doing that kind of thing, um, it's difficult you know, to really come in and, and have a, a strong position. So uh, my personal opinion uh, at this point, if I look at tip rank, um, I would say the stock to me is, is, is overvalued to, to where the price is right now. So I would wait for a pullback. If the stock were to pull back and come down, let's say around the $10, $9 uh, position, that's when I'll be able to buy it. But um, at $18, $19, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence. Um, with that and, and again uh, investing in the stock market as a risky business uh, it, uh, you take chances you do the analysis but yet and sometimes they work out sometimes they don't so I'll personally hold back on this one and wait uh, for a pullback before I can actually jump in so and again that, that's it for this video guys so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular uh, company do you think that oh Mr. V nope this company has a huge opportunity or you think nope I'm not touching it this is so risky again no let's keep the conversation going in in the comment section if you're new and you're trying to get started with investing uh webo is currently doing a promotion where if you open an account with them you get two free stocks not one two. First one would go from like two dollars to 250 dollars and the second one would go from 12 dollars to about 1400 dollars. so i'm gonna put the link in the description below definitely go check them out don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel because youtube tells me that 90 percent of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to the channel and as always, stay motivated.